So, uh, welcome to uh, video lecture series on uh, data mining and uh, warehousing. Uh, in today's lecture, we are going to see about the introduction to data mining system. Let us go, go on to the video. Myself, Rajesh Lakshana. So, I'm going to continue this lecture series on data mining and warehousing. So, what is data mining? It is a process of of extracting the relevant information from the raw data or unprocessed data. For example, if you are given a set of data, take it for example, uh, you are given a bag of coins. The bag contains all kind of coins, one rupee coin, two rupee coin, and five rupee coins. And you are supposed to extract only the five rupee coins. So what would be the output? If you take that bag of coin as a set of data, the output, which is a 5 rupee coin, is a subset of the data. So the output of data mining process is a sub subset. So generally, what is mining? It is entirely different from the search process. Searching is about finding something, uh, finding something that already exists. So you can simply take that from the group. Uh, you need not do any other additional works, whereas mining is entirely different. If you take... Uh, petrol mining or if you take gold mining you cannot simply uh, take petrol from crude oil and you cannot simply take gold from the ores so you have to go through several processes like uh, you have to uh, clean and you have to transform into a form which to which uh, it is suitable uh, to design the jewelries only then you can extract petrol and uh, gold so this is the same case with extracting the relevant information so this is what data mi mining is all about. So data mining is the process of discovering patterns and extracting valuable insights and knowledge from the larger data sets. So here databases are not involved. Uh, either larger data sets or data warehouse is involved. So in this pre presentation, we are going to say about data mining techniques, the data mining process, the issues with data mining and its applications. So these are the major data mining techniques that are prevalently used. These are not only the data mining techniques, apart from this, there are various techniques available such as classification, regression, prediction, association rule mining, sequence rule mining, uh, statistical analysis, and many more. So these are the most commonly used uh, techniques and I have uh, narrated only a few. So when you consist, when you come into, uh, come to look into decision trees, so decision tree is all about yes or no. So if that condition is satisfied, uh, one part of the tree will get executed and if condition is not satisfied, the other part will be executed. So major major techniques such as uh, classification and prediction uh, make use of this decision tree model. Association rule mining is about, uh, say, for, uh, uh, say for example, let us take a uh, market basket analysis. Whenever a person goes to a shop to buy bread, he will not return empty handed, right? So whenever a person is buying bread, uh, he will buy jam or sauce. So this is all about linking one thing to the another. So association rule can also be termed as link analysis or affinity analysis. And this entire process has to happen in the same period of time. So it is not like a person can uh, buy bread on one day and he can buy jam on the other day. No, it should not be like that. So the entire process has to be uh, carried out in the same period of time. So that is a major concern with association rule mining. So it is all about finding the link between two entities or it is about finding the relationship between the uh, variables in the larger data set. So for classification and uh, clustering, let me explain you with a simple example. Take a basket full of uh, fruits. So it contains all types of fruits such as apple, orange and uh, mango. And uh, I want one person who has no knowledge about the fruits to arrange it in the uh, rack. So what I am teaching him is all the red color ones are apple and all the orange color ones are orange and all the yellow color ones are mango. So he is entering into the shop or he is carrying that basket with that particular knowledge. And he arranges the uh, uh, red color ones in one rack, orange color ones in the other rack. When he comes to the yellow color ones, he got confused because not only one variety of mango is present in that basket. There are several varieties of mango and each of which are of different shades. So on the... Uh, when we consider apple, only red color apples are present, so he's not confused. But in case of mango, there are green color mangoes are there, uh, and uh, yellow color mangoes itself are of different shapes, so he got confused. At that time, what he can do, he can uh, he try investigating the mango. 
so he is finding some similarities between the mango like uh, few mangoes are of uh, shape, uh, same shape so he started arranging the mangoes based on their shapes so this knowledge is identified by looking into the items closer this similarity is analyzed by the person himself this knowledge is not given to him during the initial stage whereas the knowledge such as red color orange color and yellow color is given to him in the initial stage based on that he is segregating so that is classification whereas grouping the mangoes which are similar together as clustering so hope you understand the difference between classification and clustering with this example so this neural network it is mainly used in uh, artificial intelligence so we may not go deep into it and uh, this uh, this uh, slide shows the data mining process so the first step in data mining is you should have a better understanding about the problem statement so you have to you should be able to define what the problem is what the goals are and what are the constraints of the project on and uh, what are the models that can uh, fit the data so these things uh, you should clearly understand before going into the data mining process and uh, once you have a better understanding the next step is uh, collecting the data or gathering the data from various sources so make sure you have to collect the data which are relevant so collecting more irrele irrelevant data um, will decrease the efficiency of data mining process and third step is uh, uh, even though you have collected the relevant data there may be some irrelevant information or some noise present in the data and you have to remove those noise which is data cleaning and you have to transform that data into a suitable form for mining so this two things comes in the data preparation once everything is done you have to find the appropriate model which is uh, done in the data mining process so the suitable data is mined so once it is mined you have to evaluate the quality and the validity of the model and the last step is presenting the knowledge to the user so the output of the data mining is knowledge so you have to present that knowledge to the user or the in person end user so these are the various processes in data mining and uh, uh, what if you think what are the kinds of data that can be mined not only one type of data can be mined we can mine many kinds of data such as transactional data multimedia data web data text data and sensor data and uh, there are several uh, applications where data mining is used few of them are uh, fraud detection customer se uh, segmentation uh, recommendation systems apart from this it is used in retail sector uh, it is used in uh, stock market prediction it is used in healthcare and many other applications so data mining itself has several challenges such as the quality of data has to be ensured the privacy of data and the amount of data that you are gathering and uh, apart from this the security of the data and ethical issues are also concerned with data mining and uh, mm, uh, collecting irrelevant data is also another uh, drawback of data mining so these are the various challenges of uh, data mining so hope you enjoyed this presentation we will meet in another eight uh, lecture series on data mining thank you